Well, Mara, last year AvBob made a significant contribution to the Help at Your Fingertips helpline. And this year we've decided to triple that donation. Can you tell us a bit about what it means to Tears, uh, the foundation, and what it means to the Help at Your Fingertips helpline? Well, Carl, uh, first of all, I must say thank you so much to AvBob and the mm. team at AvBob. Because really your donation then and now made a meaningful difference. It changed and saved people's lives. So your new donation gives us security that we can actually go forward and build on something. And we love the partnership because all your staff are so engaged with tears. Mm. So thank you all so much for such a meaningful donation. With the money that you've helped us with, um, which as I said is life changing, we've identified that one of the largest problems in our country is the abuse of children. Mm. I think that's been borne out in all the media reports with the thousands of children who are, who are pregnant. And so the difficulty is we have this huge problem with child abuse and unfortunately within the communities, sex education is, is frowned upon quite often and it's not helped. So on our helpline, we are going to be developing a new service where information can be given to the caller at a touch of the finger. So if you need to know what is an STD, sexually transmitted disease, you just push the required button and the message will come over. So not only are you making a meaningful difference to the men and women who've been raped, but you're going to change children's lives with this donation. So again, we just want to say thank you, Avpop, for the change that you're making in our world. We so value it. Thank you. Yes, Foundation is little speaking. Good day, Mom. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Oh, yes. When did it happen? Thank you. Okay, would you please give me your number so that you know cut off? I can be able to call you back. Yes? Yes? Okay, I'm so sorry you had to go through this experience. Have you been to the medical facility? Okay, so the procedure, you need to go to a medical facility first. You can go to a nearest hospital. They're going to help you with the medical exam. The case will be then opened afterwards because they need to gather some evidence from you and you get trauma counseling session or whether a counselor inside the hospital. Then you'll be taken to open your case. Yes, I'm going to be keeping on phoning you because you need to, after opening a case, I will refer you for counselling. Is that okay with you? Okay. Okay, how far is the hospital from you? Okay, so at the hospital, there's a two to the like care centre. They will be assisting you with the medical exams. I'm going to get you a name of the person you're going to talk to when you get to the two to the like care centre. Yes, they're going to assist you with the medical exams and they're going to call the police to open the case for you. The person you're going to talk to is in call. So you're going to go to the Tutuzela like case center in the hospital? Yes. Yes. And you're going to ask from Paul? She's going to sit down and you explain what happened. They're going to help you with the medical exams. Okay, I'm going to keep on phoning you to get more information and checking with you and if you're getting help. Yes. 
Yes. All right. Okay. Okay, I'll contact you. My name is Nosifia from TS Foundation. I'll be contacting you. I'm also going to send you a message and the directions to the hospital from our cell phone number at TS Foundation. Okay, thank you. All right.